Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. So welcome back to Bahrain. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I feel like I've missed out on so much. There's been so much going on, uh, so much Porsche content and none from me. It's, uh, it's late here in Bahrain. It's after, well, it's probably uh, Saturday morning. It's almost Saturday morning. It's Friday night. It's about 11.30. Uh, we just went out to dinner. We arrived in Bahrain only on, um, wow, I can't even remember what day. Tuesday, Monday, Monday. We arrived on Monday. Uh, we've been working and been trying to set up the flat. This is the flat in the background, the apartment, the flat. No apartment tour because it's looking a bit scrappy at the moment, but uh, we have a rented apartment here in Bahrain. Um, uh, a rented apartment, leased apartment. It comes, it came furnished because we didn't want to have to mess around with furniture. Long story short, uh, we actually changed some of the furniture and got rid of some of the things they put in here. Uh, not really to my style, I mean other people's style. I'm a little bit fussy when it comes to these things. As I am with my cars because I'm still in a really bad, bad car situation. Yes, I am Porscheless. Uh, I'm completely Porscheless and it feels really, really weird and I've started to see them. Uh, especially tonight on the weekend here in Bahrain, last night and tonight. Uh, I've seen a lot of other beautiful cars too. I saw a car going around, a uh, Lamborghini Aventador going around the car park that I was driving, my uh, Nissan Sunny. It's called a Nissan Sunny. Are they available in the US? They're available in the UK, I'm sure. I've never actually heard of a Nissan Sunny before, but that's the rental car that they gave me yesterday. Uh, I was driving an old Audi A6 before that. Uh, that's someone else's car. So now I'm driving a Nissan Sunny. I'm gonna try to get them to take it back. <laughs> I'm gonna try and change it to something else. <laughs> Dare say it, I'm even happy if they give me what they call a Camry, if you have them, I'm sure everyone has a Camry. A Camry or even something else better because this, uh, this Nissan Sunny is just quite scary when you put your foot down. Um, but anyway, it's just a rent a car, it's just a temporary thing. You need a car in Bahrain, you can't get around without one. Um, which brings me to the fact is it's really difficult to work out what to do. It's really difficult to work out what to do with the car. Um, I need a car here. I want a Porsche. I want a 911. But the more and more I think about it is I think I could have a 911, uh, but maybe it's not the main car. Maybe I need one other car. In saying that, uh, there's a guy downstairs. Let me just adjust this because I just adjusted my zoom. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a guy downstairs in the building uh, who's got a 911 Turbo, a 991 Turbo in white, and I noticed he was washing it. Uh, in Bahrain, it's very dusty. If you live in the Middle East, you probably understand what I'm talking about. There's lots of dust, there's lots of dirt. It was windy today. Your car gets very filthy. Also, when you go to car parks, you've got about that much space between a four-wheel drive that I've never, SUV, four-wheel drive, SUV, I'll call it for you guys, uh, an SUV which I've never seen before, which is like, I don't know, it seems to be three times the size of SUVs in Australia. So um, <clears throat> they're big here. And on the weekends, everyone comes across from Saudi, so there's even more cars and more traffic. Uh, I've started to get, used, I've mastered the left-hand drive now. I've started to get used to driving here. Uh, directions are really difficult. The roads are quite good. You gotta go around circles a lot. Anyway, I'm, di I'm getting diverted. Guy downstairs got a 911. Oh, I saw a 997 tonight. I just made a comment on another video that someone said I should get a 997 in Bahrain. I saw a 997. They look so much bigger here. In fact, at first I thought it was a 991, like what James at Auto Image has just bought. He's bought a 991. There you go, James. There's your plug. That's it. No more in this video. Um, yeah, so it looked like a 991, it's so weird. And then I went past and went, ah, oh, that's a 997. It was a white 997. And of course, I've been looking at Porsches online. There's a car site here that I've been looking at. And I've been looking at 911s. I've been looking at 991, 991, 911s, I know, but anyway, I've been looking at 911s. I've been looking at Macan, and I've been looking at Cayenne, and I've been looking at Panamera. So that's the four, that's the four. So the question is in the comments, should I buy one of those four? Or should I be even more sensible and just get a complete waste of time car, uh, something very runabout, very easy, not a worry to get damaged, not, not afraid to get any kind of uh, <clears throat> easy to service, etc., cheap to service. People keep telling me how expensive uh, servicing here is in Bahrain. Uh, someone quoted me a price the other day and I was like, mm, okay, that's about what it costs in Australia. 
but I have heard bad reports. Uh, cars devalue quite quickly here, as they do in Australia. I'm sure they do the same in the UK and US. Um, <clears throat> but I'm still, I still want to have something nice. It's very weird when you come somewhere to live for a couple of years. And as I say live, you guys know I'll be still visiting Australia and going back to the 9-11 there. But this is a work thing and we are here for a couple of years. Um, and this place we're in is just, you know, we just uh, we landed here. We may not stay in this apartment. It's in a pretty good location. It's in a place called Seif here in Bahrain. So it's very, very close. Seif-ish. Let's just call it Seif-ish. But it's on the border of a place called Seif, if you're familiar with it. Um, but all in all, it's been okay. Um, I don't know what car to get yet. Yeah, so that's the choices. So we got those choices. Or I could just get a runabout. Maybe I get a Volkswagen GTI. Maybe I get a Toyota. Maybe I get a, a Toyota SUV. Maybe I get all of these possibilities. And the more I drive here, the more I realize, one, I can't keep driving these rental cars, which are crap. And two, am I being really sensible getting a, let's call it a European or sports car? But then again tonight, we're going to a restaurant here tonight, and this restaurant we go to in Bahrain, cars everywhere. Like I said, Lamborghini, Bentleys, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. That's where I saw the 997. Uh, what else? Land Rovers, of course. Range Rovers are everywhere. So there's lots of really nice cars here, uh, which look really clean. So there must be a way of cleaning it. Like I said, there's about there's two Cayennes in this building, two Cayennes and a 911 Turbo. So there are Porsches here. Um, anyway, I found a couple of short contenders for the car. I found a uh, Macan tonight, which is like what my friend bought his wife, uh, but it's only a Macan S. Steve is not a turbo. Steve is my mate that has a GT3. You should watch that video if you haven't seen it, me driving his GT3. Um, Macan S, white, 50,000 kilometers, beige interior. This is it. The second one is a Panamera. Panamera, 81,000 kilometers, 2010 model, under 9,000 BD. 9,000 BD is about 30,000 US, is that right? 30,000 US, four nines are, four nines are 36, 35,000 Aussie. Uh, so that's the Panamera, I'll just pop it up, a picture of it. Uh, the other one I've been looking at is a, so the Panamera is black with tan, my car was white with beige. Um, what's the other one? Oh, Cayenne. Cayenne in a color called Umba Brown. Don't laugh, brown cars in the Middle East seem to really work. And I've never been a big fan of brown cars, but it's called Umba Brown. It has a black leather interior. A lot of Porsches here are spec with full red leather interior with red, red mats, everything's red. Uh, all they're spec with full beige, tan interior, everything. Um, but it kind of works here in the Middle East. It's kind of weird. There's weirder combinations, but I'm getting used to it. So uh, that's, uh, what's that? That's the Macan, that's the Panamera, that's the Cayenne. What was the other one? Hang on for one sec. Ah, oh, there's another Panamera. There's a Panamera 4S and it's in white and it's, um, it's got low kilometers as well. And I think it's about the same sort of price as around 11, actually it's probably 10 or 11,000 BD. Uh, which is 30,000 30, US, is it? 35,000 US, 40,000 30, US, maybe? 40,000 Aussie, something like that. Um, all reasonable prices. You can get really older, you can get an older uh, car for like 5,000 BD, an older Mercedes or a Porsche or something like that. They have lots of kilometers on them here. They drive the cars a lot. They're very heavily, uh, heavily driven and a lot of miles. <clears throat> I haven't been to the Porsche Center. Uh, I am going to go out there and check it out. I was going to try and get there today. I haven't. I'm very keen to go and look at this Macan S, uh, the white one. Uh, it doesn't have a price. I think it should be around... I think it should be around... Um, sorry, I just lost my phone. I think it should be around um, 13,000. 13,000. And then there's the Gold Cayenne, which is about 13,000 as well. 13 and a half. I think the Macan actually might be more because it's only got 30,000 kilometers. The gold Umba Brown Cayenne, I'm kind of keen on. It's kind of nice. There's a really nice uh, current model Cayenne for sale in Midnight Blue. That's about 30,000 BD. Oh, I'm not showing you guys. I'll show you that one as well. There it is there. There's a picture of it or a link. I'll put something there. Um, and then there's a, I just saw it tonight, a Cloud Crayon uh, Macan new one. But it's too expensive. I think it's 26, 26 and a half thousand BD. 
which is what for 100,000 Aussies, so what's that, 90, 80, 80 odd thousand US is it, something like that. Um, I think the prices are quite good. I don't know if I want to spend that much money. I think like I said once before in my previous video, I want to spend around 10, 15,000, 13,000 is probably more than the head. I might go to 15,000. I don't really want to spend any more. I don't really want to spend all in cash. I want to do some kind of loan thing here. Um, I do get, I will get a subsidy I think from work things. So I've got to try and work it out so I don't just give all my cash on this car. Um, but I need to have a better car. It's depressing guys. I know I'm sounding like a uh, I'm sounding like one of those people and I know there's a lot of you guys that watch my channel that want a Porsche. I kind of understand, I, I've always understand, understood it because I was in that position, but I understand what it's like when you want it. You know, you're driving other cars and you try to find a car that will give you an experience because you can't get into the Porsche yet. I'm kind of like that now. I'm kind of thinking, well, if I can't get the Porsche, what do I get that makes me feel good when I drive it? Because these cars I've been driving make me feel like they feel terrible. Um, but anyway, that's the start of the Bahrain journey. Uh, it's just kind of an update video today. I know you guys who watch my channel a lot will probably appreciate this video, just having a chat, uh, just telling you what's been going on. Apart from that, everything's pretty good. Natasha is here, even though it seems very quiet in the flat. She's upstairs because uh, we have a friend who's also living in this building upstairs. Um, yeah, but this is it in the background. Looks a bit Japanesey. There is kind of water over that way. It's a place to live, it's comfortable, it's a new journey. Hopefully that journey will include a 9-11. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, uh, until next time.